Welcome to Washita County Artisans. We're beginning a new project today. Actually, we began it last Monday. And this is a woodworking project, but it's putting up some siding on our house in the patio. Now, for several years, we've been working on this section of our house because it needed desperately uh, some some work. <clears throat> we uh, several years ago we saved the money up and replaced some windows. Uh, last year we replaced the back door. Now we're going to recover this portion because the wind comes through here pretty good and it uh, gets a little bit nippy in the winter time. So I'm gonna try to flip this around and I'm gonna show you it looks kind of rough and we still have things stacked out here because it's been raining. I love the rain. Man, we needed the rain so bad. But it's been raining and uh, I'm just gonna kind of show you a little bit uh, you'll have to overlook some of the cobwebs and stuff that's come up out here this summer. Uh, but we're going to, uh, to sheathe this with uh, tin, uh, me uh, metal sheeting, and we're going to get it all fixed up where the wind will not blow into the house this winter. So, Because it's supposed to be a cold winter. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I'll flip this around if I can. And we will, I'll show you a little bit about what we got going on. Well, this is our patio. And as you can see, it's got this old slate uh, siding on it. And here are the windows. You've probably seen some of those in the videos that we put in several years ago. I had to replace all those and those helped a lot. Now there's the there's my porch swing, that's one of my favorite places. But we're going to cover up and finish all that out. Now, last year, we bought this new door, got it in, and it helped, oh man, it helped it probably a thousand percent. So, we're going to come on around here, if I can get backed up a little bit. And that's kind of what we're going to be covering here on the patio. If I don't back over something. Uh, here in the next uh, next couple of three days. So all of this is going to be covered. That window is going to be replaced. I'm going to start working on that today. And if you can notice, we got the top done. Uh, whenever they redid the the roof on the house that's my that's my bee catcher uh, carpenter bees got one of my wife's honey jars for that but anyway this is kind of the project that we are beginning and hopefully uh, we can get it all recorded uh, there's my old chair I enjoy setting out here, especially when it's cool like it is or was today. Uh, just setting out here. We're kind of in hopes to, to do whatever we can to block as much wind as possible from this. There's a better picture of the door. So we're working, getting this ready to go. And it's not been very good since we bought the place. But uh, this is the project that we're doing. So, I'll get some more information to you later. All right. Now, I understand that the uh, uh, light back up in here currently is not very great. Hopefully, the audio is now. If I put the camera back around here, uh, the wind would be blowing around it something crazy. Because the wind is blowing, we are overcast, and they're promising a little bit of rain. So what I'm going to do is, on the outside of all these windows, 
they have these storm windows. And so this one's always had a storm window on it. Uh, that's why we were changing out windows here at the ranch. So I'm going to quickly, if I can see it, I'm going to take out all of these little old screws and get these windows out. That's kind of unique. Some of these screws have straight heads. Some of them have Phillips. If I can get the thing turned around anyway. I guess one of these days I ought to do a little review. Here a while back I was needing another drill and I broke down and went and got me some heart uh, tools. And so far I've locked them. They've been good. I've not had any problems with them. We'll take all these little jewels out of here. Get this down. See that one is a, a straight one. So I'll have to flip back and forth. Get that straight one out of there. That's kind of the way it is with some of these older older homes you'll have several different several different situations you'll have uh, some Phillips and some some of the most straight uh, headed screws and so you better have both and anymore we have the uh, I can't remember what they call them all the other different ones because there's a bunch of different ones so We'll get this off of here. Then we can start tearing into the window. And I don't throw these away. Because I'll use them in other applications. I don't throw stuff away now. I'll try to get some pictures up there, some on Washita County Artisan over on our Facebook page uh, about the windows that we took out here and we repurposed them into wall hangings. So you can go over and look at that. Let's see if I can get into this little deal. See that one don't want to come. tell you I love these bits for the drill whoever come up with that idea was very smart that didn't come right out that's why you always have your cheaties <laughs> always all right let me get up top and I'll get this down Gotta flip her around. course the very last one's a flat headed screw now I guarantee you 
somebody's always put paint on them somewhere. It come down real well. Did you notice that? Yeah, it came down everywhere. So that'll be all right. It come down, it didn't break. I'll be able to repurpose this in another application, maybe out in the barn. I need to replace some some windows in the barn. But that thing hasn't been off there who knows how long or how many years. So it's full of everything. And I haven't taken it apart until right now, today. I may have to go fetch my vacuum get this cleaned out. We'll just have to see. Now here's the crazy thing is the way this window's put in here. This is about normal. wondering what it's going to take to take this out because it slipped up underneath that that top board right there or that top board's been put over it don't know which anyway I'm going to shut this off right here and then I'm going to work on this and when I get it all out I'll uh, I'll get back with you and kind of show you a little bit more Well, I got the window out, and it's over there, and I didn't break it. So we'll repurpose that into some wall hangings. But as you can notice, I've got it all out. Now I've got to frame in for the new window. So that's kind of where we're at right now, is getting ready uh, to do this framing. So I'm going to get Linda in there, or Miss L in there, and she... Don't you like that the cabinet in there? Isn't that nice? I, I don't know where that came from. I think I bought that from Washita County Artisans. Is where that came from. Uh, it, it's sad. You can see in our bathroom now. But uh, anyway, we're going to get in here and we're going to get this all framed up. And when I get it framed up, I'm not going to show you all that stuff because it makes you crazier. Especially when I do stuff. It's best if I do it by myself. So... I'll get back with you as soon as we get to that point. Well, we got it all leveled up and framed out and put in there. Now, we like all the trimming. And that's going to be the fun part. Is trimming everything out, making certain that we got enough spray foam in there to, hope, to fill that thing up. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to fill it up with spray foam all around the edges. We're going to have to do all the all the trim work. Now, the putting in a window is not the big thing. It's all the trim work. As you can tell here, we got trim that's going to have to we're going to have to trim over here all of this, and on the inside it's going to have to completely be built. So as we go along, I will show you our progress and. Uh, and we're going to get this uh, little project done. We got all of that sheet metal to put up. But this had to be put in. And we're going to have to trim out this side of it at least uh, so that we can uh, put the metal up on it. So we're going for that. Don't run off. We'll be back. Mm -hmm. 